Okay, so in the last video, we looked at how a row times a matrix plus a row could be implemented, could be expressed by partitioning matrix A by columns. Obviously, we may want to investigate what happens if we partition matrix A by rows. All right, so let's do that. Let's give ourselves a little bit of room. And we partition A by rows. Now let's see what happens if we partition x by elements. It's a row vector, so we have chi 0, chi 1, through chi m minus 1, which must be added to the row vector y transpose. Okay. And again, you recognize that if these were just numbers, then this would be a dot product, and you would remember to do the first elements multiplied together, add it to the second elements multiplied together, etc. And here you do the exact same thing, except you do it with symbols. So this here becomes then chi 0 times a0 tilde transpose plus chi 1 times a1 tilde transpose, and so forth. Add it to y transpose. Now, notice that you can do that by saying first take y transpose and add to it chi 0, a 0 transpose tilde, add it to y transpose. And then you can say take the result of that and add to it chi 1 times a 1 transpose, and so forth. And what do you recognize here? You recognize the AXP operation, except that you're doing it with rows instead of with columns.